Hi, I'm Eric. I'm a co-founder of Sonic Bloom, uh, creator of Choreographer. Choreographer is a design tool that allows developers to sync gameplay events to music. Uh, we have a series of tutorials that you can check out here. Here. Um, uh, in this tutorial, uh, we will go over the, our MIDI converter tool, uh, which is included in Choreographer Professional Edition. Uh, and the MIDI converter tool uh, allows you to take a composed MIDI file uh, and uh, import the MIDI notes, the data within that file, uh, and some of the details associated with it directly into Choreographer to annotate corresponding wave, AUG, MP3, you know, the sample data. Uh, we will start by providing a simple overview of the MIDI converter's UI elements and uh, end by showing how to use it to create choreography and uh, choreography track assets. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, let's see, we'll open the, choreo the uh, uh, MIDI converter tool. Uh, to do that, we're going to go up here into the window uh, thing and note that I have choreographer professional edition already installed. You can do that from the package manager or from the asset store. Uh, if I click the choreography MIDI, MIDI converter here or on the Mac option shift K that will bring up this window here. Okay. So let's take a look and see what we have. The first thing that we see is this open MIDI file thing. That's the very first element. Uh, that allows you to pick the MIDI file that you want to open and explore the data of. Um, the next up next, we of importance as you're going through this, you will see that this there we allow you to specify an audio clip over here, uh, where this is going to be the wave or MP3 that is associated with the MIDI file. Um, the this will the reason that you you specify an audio clip uh, is for the choreography generation. Uh, so that the system knows what the sample rate is so that it can properly convert between the data that's stored in the MIDI file and the type of data that Choreographer and Unity use. We'll go up here to see the offset start, the start offset, uh, which allows you to specify a um, kind of an offset from, from the beginning of, of the timeline, the music's timeline. This is especially important if the file that you're matching was exported from a digital audio workstation, a DAW, or the like, that with something like a, you know, a second of silence at the very beginning. What this does is it allows you to offset all of the events in your system so that they will align with the actual timing in the music itself. Uh, all right, up next is in the UI, we have the choreography export, which is for generating the choreography. In this area here, we'll, you'll see uh, the MIDI um, uh, tempo definitions show up, and that's what will be used to create the tempo sections that Choreographer uses. Uh, and of course, we have the ability to export choreography using the audio clip specified and the uh, uh, MIDI, uh, what are they called? This tempo, <laughs> the tempo sections. Um, all right, uh, up next is the Choreography Track Export, uh, which in, opens a slightly different view. And in here you can specify, okay, here is where uh, MIDI events uh, will appear and I'll show you those momentarily. Uh, and all the kind of uh, MIDI tracks, the instruments that you're gonna be able to pick and say, I want events from this instrument to show up in my choreography. Um, in here, you'll specify the choreography, which if you do a choreography export here is automatically added in. Uh, and you have an event ID, which allows you to specify what uh, um, it, choreographer event ID you want these events to kind of siphon through. Um, okay, so let's add a MIDI file so that we can see the last piece of the UI. Um, we're gonna add the starlit black thingy. Um, and if I go into, uh, the, first of all, the choreography export here, you'll see that we have the tempo section installed. We can ch update the tempo section name if we want. Under here, we'll see that there's a list of instruments and tracks. These are the MIDI track names over here. And these are the instrument names. These are the instruments that were used in that, uh, uh, in those tracks. Uh, underneath channels, this is where each MIDI track can have multiple channels. Uh, this file tends to have one channel per, per track. Uh, and each track has a certain set of notes. And each note 
has a set of uh, of data that are the events. That's like, you know, uh, the music key presses or drum hits or whatever that the um, timings for when that happen. And that's what we convert from MIDI data into choreography data. Uh, now that we're familiar with the layout, um, let's create some choreography uh, as if we had a brand new project. So uh, the first thing we're going to do here is we've, we've opened the uh, MIDI file um, as we showed earlier. Um, and that gives us this tempo section. Let's create, open up a new audio clip here. And we're going to, because this is the Starlit Black demo, I'm going to pick the Starlit Black track. Now that I have that, uh, I have the ability to export choreography. I'm going to come up in here and I'm going to say, put it in the root there. Let's call it the Starlit Black Choreo. Save. Now I have this file here and it has exported and it has exported all that stuff there. Um, and uh, I can come over here and take a look at this track. You'll see that the choreography has been loaded. That is uh, what we want because that is gonna be the target. Now, before we dive into seeing what these are, let's take a look and see what the actual MIDI data looks like behind the scenes. Okay, I'm gonna swipe over uh, to Midiyoti here. We have Midiyoti, which is an application um, that uh, is, is a, has a free trial version that lets you at least view a MIDI file. And that's what we're gonna use right now. Uh, I can uh, see all the different notes and different, different instrumentation here. You can see that there's like kind of two layers, two instruments for each of these. Um, and you see all these little kind of dots and lines in here. I have this piano too picked out because I know that that is where the uh, um, melody layer is for this track. So if I have this selected, I can hit play and we'll, we can hear what that sounds like. With so those are a clear melody line. That's the, those are the notes that I want. That's the information that I want to add to my choreography. Uh, so, uh, what does that look like? By the way, this is kind of a standard view of what MIDI data looks like. It's, this is a piano roll. Uh, it shows you what kind of, um, octave let's say is this is in, um, at any rate, uh, this is the line of, of music that we're interested in. And now that we're in Unity, we can go and find that specific track uh, in here and say, okay, here we go, Pian one dash piano two. Great, this is, this is what I want. I want the melody piano A. Uh, I'm going to select all the events in this track. Um, I'm gonna leave everything as default uh, because I'm just gonna have one-offs for when the, the, those note timings hit. Uh, I'm not gonna add any specific payloads. Uh, I could add velocity or note values. These are information that that each event in a um, uh, MIDI event uh, contains. It's information about the velocity is how strong something was hit. Like if you were on a keyboard, it's how hard did someone press the button or the, the key. Uh, and the note is which of the keys uh, was pressed. And these are, are these have sub options in here you can pick whether you want the raw MIDI value or, you know, something possibly more helpful. I'm going to say, I don't want any out output payloads. It's just going to give, give me nothing. Um, the last thing I have to do is to pick here. Uh, I'm going to create an event and I'm going to say that this is the piano event. Um, I could actually say, you know what? I'm going to say that this is the melody line, uh, melody. Uh, and I'm going to export a new track. I'm going to call this the starlit black melody track uh, and save. And now I have this track here. It's got a bunch of events. If I open this in the choreography editor, uh, it is right here. Uh, and you can see that I have the melody line here with all of those notes already set up. Uh, and at least for that half, if I wanted the full line, let's show you how to do that. Yeah. So we have uh, all this data. Let's close this out. And let's say that we wanted to do the full melody instead of just the partial melody. Um, I would, let's close this out here and I'll reopen it. Uh, okay. If we open the file, let's reopen Starlit Black here. Open. Um, we're going to 
This time I'm going to skip anything here in the choreography export file section because we already have choreography. In this example, this is how you would, would use the choreography or the MIDI converter to just add more data to existing choreography. I'm gonna go over here, select Starlet Black Choreo, uh, and I'm going to say full melody here, full melody as my track name. Uh, by the way, while we're here, I will get back to that in a moment. We can click here and select uh, another one. And what, uh, what this would let us do, let's say I went down to those melody piano and I wanted both of them. Uh, I could export to a new track or if I took, well, let's refresh here, take the melody, um, I could overwrite the events in an existing track. I don't wanna do that in this case. I wanna create a new track. Uh, I could also append to an existing track, which would give me the ability to add the second half of those to that choreography and it would just update all in one line. Um, but we'll show you what this is like when I just create another full one. I'm gonna call this full melody. I get this export new track button. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna say that this is the starlit black uh, mel full melody track. Uh, and save. And now I have that and it's going to add that into that choreography as well. What that lets me do now is if I open up my choreography here, uh, I'm gonna pick the Starlet Black Choreo, it loads it up. We can see that in Melody, it only goes so far, right? We stop seeing these events. Now, because I have created a second track and added it to it with the converter, I can click here, and this version has all of the events all the way to the end of the file. Uh, and that is a quick overview of the user interface for the MIDI converter. Okay, uh, I hope that uh, this was helpful to you. Uh, and please let us know if there's anything in particular you'd love to see in a tutorial. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you next time.